We're going to study a particularly simple form of a continuous stem markup chain, which is called a birth-death process. So consider uh, some kind of a population which has certain members, and these members uh, give birth to other members, and then some people die off. So at any particular point in time, you could have uh, either a birth or a death or nothing at all, right? And so we can think of the population size as basically either stays the same or it can go up, which is a birth, or it can go down, which is a death. And for the moment, assume that only one of these events can happen at the same time. So you can either have one birth or one death or nothing happens at all. So uh, this system may sound abstract, but it's very much the uh, what happens in a computer network or in a computer system. Uh, let's say that we have a queue where there are uh, packet arrivals and there's a server. So we always draw buffers like this and that's a server and this is a queue. So each time the packet arrives, it corresponds to a birth. Each time a packet gets served, it corresponds to a death. And of course, if neither packet arrives or is served, then we're in the same, it stays the same. And so a uh, birth-death process is very much uh, the right model for uh, packet arrivals into a network server. It also models quite accurately uh, what happens in a computer system where jobs are served at the CPU, uh, but can also be used for modeling an ecosystem where you have certain population of animals and the population size increases and decreases over time uh, based, on, uh, based on this. Or if you're looking at a pandemic, a birth could be an infection, death could be recovery, and so you can look at the total number of infected people in a population, and that's also modeled by birth-death process. So uh, we can draw this in the following way. So we have a particular state that corresponds to the population size. And so on a birth, the population size increases by 1. And on a death, it decreases by 1. So we essentially have a structure like this. And of course, there's going to be a state 0 below which the population size is 0. And there's perhaps a maximum size. But in between, we only have transitions from states to adjacent states. And we, uh, we re so this is the characteristic pattern that is, uh, that represents a birth-death process. State J and this state J plus one and this state J minus one. Remember that uh, we denote by Q, J comma, J plus one that is the rate at which we go from J to J plus 1, and Q, J, comma, J minus 1 as the rate at which we go from state J to state J to state J minus 1. So this is over here, Q, J, J minus 1. This is Q, J, J plus 1. Those are those two rates over here for state J. This transition rate from state J to state J plus 1 is the arrival rate at which uh, the population grows. It's arrival rate at which packets enter into the queue, for example. And so uh, this is always denoted in queuing theory with the notation lambda. So lambda j is the rate at which uh, packets or events arrive into the system, into the population. And symmetrically, mu j, which is the transition rate from j to j minus 1, is the service rate. And so in this system over here, we can show lambda j as this rate over here of transitioning from a state to the next state. And then mu j is the rate at which you go from j to j minus 1. And uh, as before, uh, qjj is going to be the negative of the sum of these two rates. And that's going to be minus lambda plus mu j. And this is can be viewed as the rate at which you stay in the, in the same state. So you stay in state J with this negative rate, and that's just a technical assumption.